Hey Pilgrims, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Dying Light 2 is available and I want you to have a great first time experience. So in today's quick video, I'm going to show you five settings in your options you should look out for. Number one, QTE mode. If you've been watching streamers, you've probably noticed that they're mashing the F key or your controller whenever you interact with certain objects like opening jammed doors. Under options in the game tab, scroll down to the bottom and ensure the quick time events, aka QTE hold mode is set to on. This means all you have to do is press and hold F instead of rapidly tapping it. Your keyboard or your controller will thank you for it. Number two, Gamma. If you're afraid of dark places and the game is too dark for you, simply go to the video tab in options and look for the Gamma option where you can adjust the brightness. Number three, Motion Blur Quality. For many first time players to Dying Light 2, you're not going to be used to the quick movement of the camera and probably come away quickly with either a headache or nausea. Under the video tab, select F at the bottom for advanced video settings and near the middle, you can set the motion blur quality to none. Number four, mouse sensitivity. Your headaches and nausea might also come from how fast you look around. I personally found the mouse sensitivity was too high at default. So under the controls tab, locate the mouse sensitivity settings and lower it to around 10. And I found it definitely helpful. You'll avoid headaches while still being able to look around quickly. Number five, crouch and keybinds. I personally am used to crouching in my games through the left control key, but the default for PC is set to C. You can set it under the controls tab and selecting F to change your key binds. So those are five quick settings you should look out for before you start playing Dying Light 2. I hope they helped you out. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Dying Light 2, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.